Hi, in this video, we're going to offer you some practical advice on how to replace your vehicle's front brake pads and discs. Braking components differ between vehicle manufacturers. If you're unsure, you should consult your owner's manual. And remember, the braking system is a critical safety component of your vehicle. If you're unsure of your capabilities, you should delegate the task to an expert. For this, you'll need replacement brake discs, replacement brake pads, side cutters, wire brush, spanners, screwdrivers, hammer, swan neck pliers, brake piston compressor, safety goggles, rag, water, brake cleaner, brake component grease, penetrating oil, wheel brace, sockets, extension bar, ratchet, bungee tie, axle stands, and trolley jack. Remove the brake fluid reservoir cap and place it on some clean rag. Put a reminder behind the steering wheel to pump the brakes. New braking components should be replaced in pairs on the same axle. Remove the wheel trim and slacken the wheel studs while the vehicle is on the ground. Raise and support the vehicle. Remember, never get underneath an unsupported vehicle. Once the vehicle is supported, remove the road wheel. I always leave the road wheel under the vehicle as a secondary support device. Turn the steering to make access to the brake assembly easier. Wash away any brake dust using brake cleaner. Use penetrating oil to lubricate any rubber components. This reduces the risk of tearing the rubber during removal. Remove the ABS sensor lead from its mounting so it's not put under any strain. Undo and remove the brake caliper securing bolt. Use an old screwdriver to prise the caliper off the brake pads. It's now possible to remove the brake pads. Sometimes the pads can be stuck in the carrier. Use an old screwdriver to prise them off. The brake pad consists of a metal backing plate. It is the friction material that wears down over time. The surface area of the friction material can provide an indication that the brake disc needs to be replaced. In this case, the surface area has worn unevenly. This vehicle's brake disc needs to be replaced. Remove the retaining clip. Remove the caliper. Always support the caliper to ensure no strain is put on the flexible brake hose.
Use the bungee tie and secure the caliper to the vehicle suspension. Next remove the brake pad carrier bracket. The securing bolts can be tight. Once the bolts have been removed, place the bracket to one side. It's now possible to remove the brake disc. Some brake discs are secured to the hub using a screw. If fitted, this needs to be removed. Corrosion will cause the brake disc to stick to the face of the hub. If this is the case, use a hammer to shock the brake disc. Remembering to screw two wheel studs into the hub to stop the disc falling to the floor or on your foot. Use safety glasses when using a hammer. Once the brake disc is free, remove the studs and remove the old brake disc. Brake discs are made of cast iron. They wear over time and become thinner. The manufacturer of a vehicle will specify the minimum thickness of a brake disc. Over time, rust and dirt builds up on the areas where the brake disc is mounted. This should be removed using a wire brush. Next task is to clean the brake pad carrier bracket. Over time, rust and dirt builds up on the areas where the brake pad is mounted. This should be removed using a wire brush to ensure the new brake pad slides freely on the carrier. Sticking brake pads can affect the vehicle's braking performance and wear braking components prematurely. Now we are ready to fit the new brake disc. Refer to the brake disc manufacturer documentation. Some discs are coated with an oily substance to prevent corrosion when in storage. These discs are not coated with an oily substance and do not require cleaning. Compare the new disc with the old disc. Make sure they're the same diameter. The same height. And that they have the correct number of holes. Mount the new brake disc on the hub and ensure any holes are lined up.
Use two wall studs to hold the disc in position. Make sure the new brake disc is sitting squarely on the hub. Next refit the brake pad carrier bracket. Remove the new brake pads from the packaging. If your vehicle is not fitted with brake pad warning sensors, remove the sensor plug and discard it. Compare the new brake pad with the old brake pad and make sure that the backing plates have the same profile. You can see the difference in thickness between the old and the new brake pad friction material. Using brake pad component grease, lubricate the area of the backing plate that comes into contact with the caliper bracket and the brake caliper. Make sure no grease comes into contact with the friction material.
Mount the new brake pad in the carrier, making sure the friction material is facing the disc and the pad can slide freely in the carrier bracket. Refit the brake caliper. Make sure the caliper slide pins move freely. Retract the brake caliper piston back into the caliper housing to enable the caliper to fit over the new brake pads. You can use swan neck pliers or a brake piston compressor. Compress the piston until you feel resistant. Check the brake fluid reservoir. If any fluid has been spilt, wash it away with water. Clean and refit any retaining clips. Place the caliper over the pads and ensure any retaining clips are located correctly. Refit the new securing bolt. Refit the ABS wire in its mounting bracket. Recheck that you have tightened all of the securing bolts and the securing clips are located correctly. Straighten the steering. Remove the wheel studs. Mount the road wheel and secure it.
lower the vehicle to the ground, recheck the wheel studs and refit the wheel trim. Move on to the other side of the vehicle and repeat the procedure. Once you have completed both sides, gently depress the brake pedal to close the gap between the brake caliper piston and the new brake pads. You might need to pump the pedal several times. Check the brake fluid level and refit the reservoir cap. Dispose of any worn components responsibly. So that's how you replace your vehicle's front brake pads and discs. I hope you enjoyed watching, please check out our other videos.